Open the vent valve to depressurize the filter. Proceed with extreme caution, preventing pressurized medium from being expelled uncontrollably. Drain the filter, opening the drain valve. Remove the bolts of the gear motor, using an open-end wrench. Remove the gear motor from its seat. If necessary use a suitable mechanical lifting device. The gear motor shall be temporarily positioned in a proper dry place, according to the length of the existing electric cabling. Unscrew the cover bolts, using an open-end wrench, or a pneumatic driver. To unstick the cover from the body, Unscrew the lifting lugs and screw in the cover bolts in their place, creating a gap between the cover and the body. Reassemble the lifting lugs. Remove the cover, fastening a mechanical lifting device to the cover lifting lugs. Be careful as the cover is lifted together with the filtering element. After the extraction, lay the filtering element assembly on a horizontal surface, preferably a wood pallet. Remove the seeker with suitable pliers, and pull out the holding ring, in order to release the backwash shaft. Carefully extract the backwash shaft from the bottom of the filtering element. Turn the cover filtering element assembly in vertical position with the filter cover at the bottom. Unscrew the bolts that secure the filtering element to the cover, using an Allen key. These bolts are located inside the filtering element. Remove the pre-filter to check its status. No keys are required for this procedure. The filter is now completely disassembled. Refer to the ACB Filter Maintenance Manual, Disassembling and Assembling, for proper key size.